finding a full bid Johnson ring counter whose truth table is as shown here. We are going to employ a data play flop whose characteristics is as indicated. This next state corner map with an input D and present state QN. The next, what we like to do is using this truth table of the 4-bit Johnson counter. First, develop a one-map method for data flip-flop. We introduce four symbol. Capital I for turning on. At sign, if the flip-flop turn off. Zero, if it stay off after clocking. One, if it remain on or stay on after clocking. Present is one, clocking it, remain one, that is it. We're going to de develop the four bit data play plot made up of A, B, C, D. And implement that in Tiling's Webpack version 9.1 schematic source. So this is a pre preliminary tutorial without requiring writing VHDL, but instead just implement it as a schematic. A schematic capture of the webpack. The next step is to drive the data input reading rule. As we have recalled a while ago, a very simple for turn on, turn off, stay off, stay on, is as shown. In order to derive for the input D of a given circuit, according to here, when you group it in the usual map method, you enclose the one and you avoid the zero. So the corresponding one map is you enclose turn on symbol and stay on, while avoiding turn off and stay off symbol. So that is the meaning of this reading rule. To derive the day input, you must include in your grouping to produce the input D, enclosing the I and the 1, while at the same time avoiding enclosing 0 and turn off. And if the don't care X help, you can include it. The third step is to derive for our 4 bit Johnson counter, the required data input. Based on the two tables we have presented, it is very easy to fill this 4 variable kernel map for each of the data input of the 4 flip flop. So here is what happened to flip flop A. For instance, in this cell, when the table row is zero, 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 when it moves to the next row, the flip-flop A stays off. And over here, the flip-flop, it, it is not even available in the table, so we put don't care. Over here, we have an I. So the, the A turn on. And over here, the flip-flop A turn off. Similar reasoning for the others. So, applying the rule, remember, we must include I or 1, but not 0 or turn off. So this is the best grouping where the data input is B. And here is for the data of flip-flop B while avoiding zero and turn off. 
So that is C, the input to B, data input. For the next flip-flop C, the data input is D, output of D flip-flop. And for the last D flip-flop, the B, D data input is a complement. So using this, it is, we can now, we have to decide what we have to assign to the field programmable array P number for each of our signals. This is what we're planning to do. The system board is, has a very high clock. 50 megahertz. So we're going to slow it down by dividing that by 2 raised to 26. And we're going to use three binary cascadable counter. So basically 2 to the 60, uh, 2 to the 26 is the same as 2 to the 20, which is 1 mega, and the 2 to the 6 is 64. So we're going to divide this 50 megahertz by, basically 50 by 64. So, so we will pick up three component from the library component of Webpack made up of one 16-bit binary counter divider, 8-bit and 2-bit, so that totals up to require us to enable the clock. So there is a so-called CE. We will attach the board, build programmable, build programmable board Spartan 3 clock enabled to switch zero, slide switch zero. And we have a reset external signal which we will commit to the push button three of the board. We will assign the four LED, LD, LED three, two, one, zero to the output of the final circuit that we will come up with, which we will show later on in real time is somewhat like this for the 4-bit Johnson circuit employing library components and using the recent Webpack 9.2 here is the dividing chain of the 50 this is the this is the 50 megahertz clock we will connect to this the clock enable signal. We will use a data flip-flop with clip we will pick from the library, which I will demo to you. From our equation, the data input of A is coming from B, the data input of B is coming from C, the data input of C is coming from D and the data input of D flip-flop is the invert of A. We connect all the clock inputs synchronously toggled by the timer complete output of the di dividing division chain of the clock. We will connect the clear line of the counter as well as the four flip-flop, data flip-flop we have to a reset input. Okay.